Hello, everybody. I'm testing out the audio. How do I sound? Let me know in the comments if you think the background audio is a little too loud or my voice is too quiet or too loud or I sound all weird. It, can you understand my accent? I I know right now I have a really, really strong Irish accent and, I, and I'm, I'm not sure if you can tell. <laughs> sound is good, sound is great. Isn't that swell? All right, I'll be on in just a sec. Let me go get all my stuff. Okie dokie, artichokey. Let's see, I do this, I press this button right here. Is it working? <laughs> hey everybody! Welcome to the stream! Hello, hello to everybody! Look at this, we're back to crocheting today. Hello, welcome to the live stream. Today we're going to be making a little chicken, as you can probably see here. This is my uh, my latest free burb pattern. It just came out uh, this week, actually like two days ago. So if you want it, uh, it's it's free, and you can find it right here by going to clubcrochet.com slash chicken. And that's what we're gonna be crocheting together today. Now this is not gonna be a tutorial video. This is just gonna be a crochet along where we're making something together. And hello to the chat. The chat is going crazy. <laughs> hey guys. My dudes. <laughs> um, yeah, Church of Perch represent. We're making some burbs today. Now, um, really quick before I get going, if you like what's going on here, please like this video down below. Subscribe to the channel. All that fun stuff, especially the liking. It's the freest, cheapest, easiest way to support. Um, and before I get into the other ways you can support, let's talk about the materials that you're going to need if you want to crochet along with us today. So, first off, obviously, you need the pattern. Again, you can find the pattern really easy by just going right there, clubcrochet.com slash chicken. There's a video tutorial available. I have a whole video where I show you every little part of it. Um, there's check marks and a PDF pattern for members, stuff like that. For the materials we're gonna be needing today, I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton, 
and I'm using the following colors. I'm using uh, beige for our little the main part of the head here. We need um, white, and that's going to be for the body and the eyes. Um, you'll need red for, I call this the waddle, this little guy under the chin, and then this is called the comb. Um, so the waddle and the comb will need red, and then um, you'll need yellow for the beak, the feet, and of course, you need yellow for the burb beak. Because we will be making these guys into a little version of a burb today. Um, you'll need safety bead eyes. I'm using size six millimeter safety bead eyes, and there are um, you'll need four of them for this pattern because we need two for the outside and two for the inside. Um, <clears throat> because I'm using all worsted weight yarn, I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle like this. It helps um, helps sew in the ends. Uh, you'll need now normally you would need three little uh, magnets like this. Um, and if you purchase the kit, um, I have kits available for this with all the materials that I'm talking about right now, including these little magnets here. So normally I would put little magnets in the rear to make it so that he could magnetically attach to anything metal. Um, but in this video, I'm not gonna be making a magnet. Instead, we're going to be doing, because I made a magnet in the video tutorial version I'm looking for that thing that I need. Where did it go? Rats. It's somewhere. I have just made an egg. I just made it, like, right before. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, well, I don't know where it be. Wait, maybe there's one in this. Aha, okay. So this is not the one I was looking for, but today we're gonna to be making it into a, a burb that can lay eggs. So he's gonna go boop. See, he can lay little eggs. Boop. So we're gonna be using the finger puppet method to make our, our uh, burb into a finger puppet that can lay eggs today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the dealio there. Now, if you like, oh, oh. I can't, I can't scoop my chair in too much here. If you like what's going on here and you'd like to help support this channel, there are a few ways you can do so. Let me move all this yarn while I'm talking about this. You're going to, you can uh, support by, uh, the first and easiest and best way you can help support is uh, with, uh, by just subscribing down below, liking this video. Then after that, if you really like what I'm working on, you can become a member on the website. Uh, members get early access to future patterns. So they got access to this chicken pattern like in the beginning of January, I think, as well as access to a full library of patterns and tutorials. Every single pattern that I come out with, I do a full video tutorial for, I do a PDF tutorial, and it's all written on the website as well. Uh, and that's all available by just becoming a member on the website. It's that like you get all my patterns for that. You also get monthly kits mailed directly to your door with all the materials that you need to make whatever we're making that month. Now, this was this month's kit. Um, it was actually, this month it was BYOB. So you got the choice to make either a chicken, a duck, or a an owl. Or you can make a pigeon or a turkey. You got to decide which kit you wanted to make. Now, next month's kit, um, we are doing an otter, which I showed in the middle of last live stream and I'm looking for it right now to show you right now but I think he's like over there somewhere I don't know I gotta look look for him for the halftime show but we're doing an otter and it's seriously one of the cutest patterns that I've ever done um so oh yeah sure I can turn down the music there we go sunshine ba -ba -ba. okay sorry about that um so we're doing an otter for the next live stream or for the next kit um, and you can get all the stuff all the patterns materials blah 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 all of that with a membership memberships start at only five dollars a month and you can even get a free trial if you want to try it out um, and it's the best way to support this channel so please consider getting a membership if you want one you can also purchase kits uh, and merch in the shop um, there's a bunch of different merch like stickers here are some of the stickers that we have available. I'm working on another one right now. 
Um, but right now, uh, the best, the coolest ones that are newest are these Church of Perch stickers. Now, the Church of Perch is this little group we have in this live stream here uh, of just burb lovers. <laughs> and we have two different stickers available. One has a little hummingbird and an owl and pigeon and stuff. And uh, the other one's also got an owl and a chicken and a duck. Um, and these are also available as stickers and as t-shirts. Here is one of the t-shirts. I have not done the women's cut t-shirts because I am a dummy and I uh, forgot to this week, so I'm really sorry about that. So uh, I'll work on it this week. Um, but there, these are unisex t-shirts, so they fit everybody. I just want to get some like women's cut uh, versions on there, but I'm not a woman, so I need um, Jules's help on choosing which one to design, and I just haven't gone out of my way to do that. And I'm sorry about that. But those are coming soon. Um, yeah. What else? What else? What else? I think that's about it. Oh, oh, duh. The other way you can support is with a super chat. Super chats are a basically a way to tip, tip me. Um, and you can say whatever you want and a, your message should come up on screen. And I think we had our first super chat, Tina, Tina, all the way from Denmark, <laughs> all the way from Denmark is thank you so much for your support, Tina. And when you super chat, I put out a little character just for you. And Tina, I think that we're just going to start off by adding to the background just for you what we made in the last uh, crochet along live stream. Monsieur Quack, uh, the duck that is uh, the French duck, um, but really he is just a bulb. Boop, but he still got his bow on. <laughs> so this was made in the last live stream. And this is going to be on screen for the entire stream. Thanks to Tina. Thanks so much, Tina. Okay, we're going to put that right there. And maybe eventually this whole thing will get filled up. It also says, it should say what you donated with right here. And I just want to check something real quick. Let me see. Let me see. Can't tell if it worked. Oh, well. I'll have to look later. Okay. All right. Was that everything? Am I good? I think we're good. Let's let's just get crocheting. Let's get crocheting here. Yeah, let's get crocheting. How has your guys' weeks been? How, what have you guys been up to? What you been doing? This week for me was pretty busy. I got a bunch of... Oh yeah, we can, Sasha. I just gotta, I just gotta find him real quick. Sasha, thank you so much for your support. Sasha wants Sven. Now Sven, we gotta find him. There he is. Sven is our coffee snob. Our orc coffee snob that only comes out when, when a good, nice super chat comes along. Oh, there it is on screen. Huh? That's not. I don't think that's working. Da, 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 da. This is Sven, our coffee snob. We need to have a little bit of coffee for Sven to celebrate Sven. So if you got your coffee, cheers, cheers to Sven. I did a double shot of espresso today, even though uh, I definitely don't need that. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sasha. Sven is here, completely supported by yourself. <laughs> okay. Back to back to hook in here. So my week was pretty busy. I actually wanted to do something for this halftime show, but I didn't have the time for it. So uh, last live stream, um, we had a real like the biggest support that uh, I've ever gotten in a live stream. Kim, who probably isn't here today, I, I don't think she can make it to the Sunday live streams anymore. But she supported for. 150 bucks it was crazy so uh as a thank thank you to her and to the live stream in general i wanted to do a um a really cool giveaway and unfortunately i didn't finish it in time i was up till 4 a.m working on it last night but i just couldn't i just couldn't finish it in time um so it'll be next live stream that we will be doing the big giveaway 
And it's a really cool one where everybody can win the giveaway, so that's pretty neat. Hey, Anna, I'm so sorry about... Looks like Hannah lost her hamster this week. I'm sorry, Hannah. That's a bummer. I'm really sorry about that. Let's see. Do I have... Um, I'm sorry, Hannah. That's a bummer. Okay. The music stopped. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. I know what song this is. Hopefully you don't get copyright strikes for this. Um, where was I at? I'm making the wings. I know that. Coffee and crochet. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I think we only chained one there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's pull this a little tighter. I don't want to do... I don't really want this song on here because it's got lyrics. I don't really like it when the songs got lyrics. I tried downloading a new one for. Okay, we fast forwarded the music. I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to get some new new tunes, so I downloaded a new album of Disney or Disney Nintendo music. <laughs> Ezreal, hey, you're not nagging. Hello. Did I have a good birthday, Rachel asks. Yes, I did. I had a great birthday. Just nice and chill and just... I just play a lot of video games, honestly. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I sneezed. Um, I just played a lot of video games. That's all. <laughs> That's pretty much all I did. Uh, it was great. I love video games, so it was great. I played a lot of Super Smash Brothers. Guys, I am a pro at Super Smash Brothers. I need to start doing tournaments because uh, my Yoshi is, he's just, he's dirty. He's got a, I got a nasty Yoshi that, that can just really, really mess up the competition. It's really great, I love it. Um, Ezreal, no, you're not being annoying. You're good, don't worry. Um, someone asked, what is my favorite Disney movie? Um, okay, so I'm gonna do it separately, separate from Pixar, because Pixar movies are a whole nother ball game. They're my, those are my favorite quote unquote Disney movies, but my favorite Disney movie itself, probably Mulan. I love Mulan. I mean, who doesn't love Mulan? It's great. I didn't see the remake, and I don't really intend to see the remake, because I don't really like these live stream remakes that they're doing, but, um, I love the movie Mulan, the animated one. I think it's a great movie. Wow, this song is wild. Someone is is blowing the horn it's crazy. Um, <clears throat> what else? What other mo Disney movies do I love? I love Moana. I think that's a really good movie. Uh, yeah, I think that's just a really fun one. And then for Pixar movies. I think my favorite Pixar movie is probably, um, probably Wally. I love Wally. I also love Up. And do you guys see Soul? Just came out recently, over Christmas break. It was so good. That might be one of my new favorite Pixar movies. I thought it was just a ten out of ten. I cried my eyes out. Oh, it was so good. If you have not seen Soul yet, go check it out. Oh, Rebecca. I feel that. I totally feel that. Good luck. I hope to see you soon. All right. So we got our wings already. Look at that. Little wings. 
I can fly higher than you'll ever imagine. That's the sound I make when I fly. What if you had the superpower to fly, but you had to be crouched in the fetal position and you could only fly five miles an hour? Would you want that? The correct answer is yes, of course you would, because you can still fly. I mean, that's awesome. <gasps> Courtney, dude, guess what? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you. Courtney, thank you so much for your support. I have something very, very special for you. Courtney is a supporter on my Patreon page as well, on my Louis Loops Patreon page. And when you support on my Louis Loops Patreon page, I crochet an orc uh, or a goblinoid in general. So it could be a goblin or troll or whatever. But based on your suggestions. So she supports on my Louis Loops Patreon page, which is completely outside of this. Uh, and so I made her something special and I was waiting for her. I'm so glad you super chatted because it's like the perfect opportunity. This is for you, Courtney. She wanted a punk rock orc. So I made her a punk rock orc. Check this gal out. She's even got, I've even added eyeliner to her. And I need, it's not complete just yet. It's almost done. But I want to put, I want to put little spikes on the shoulders. And then I also want to put a button uh, on a, on a like, or, or something on around her neck. It's like a necklace of some kind. So this is for you, Courtney. I'm going to put this on, on a, in the background right here. But I believe I'm sending this to you also. So I'm going to add the, the rest of that stuff to it a little bit later. But I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. And it's playable. Like you could use this in a game of Stitch too. Because I put a little, um, I put nickels in them. So that they're a little weighted down. So he's a little heavier. She's a little heavier I should say. I thought the hair was so cool. Like look how dope that haircut is. I just took cotton yarn and then I and then I just kind of split the cotton yarn while I was making it, like after I added it. I was I was pretty proud of it. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> Courtney, <laughs> dude, you have been so supportive and I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Frankie Rosa asks, "What are, what's gonna be the next stream? The next live stream at the end of the month?" Uh, Next Sunday is going to be a an owl, a barn owl. I'll tell you what. Next super chat we get, I'll throw a barn owl up on the screen so you can see it. But that's what we're going to be making next live stream. And I think I'm going to do a special color for it. I'm thinking like a purple one or something like that. But it is going to be the last of our burb live streams for the month. Because we've been doing a lot of burbs. And don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love a burp. I love a good burp. But I think we should, you know, we'll come back to burps later this later this year. We'll have to take a break from burps just for a little bit. I, I mean, we still got a week and a half left though. But it's the last of the burp patterns the the that I've come out with recently is the owl one. So we're going to be streaming that next live stream. Burbs are so needed. Very much needed. Yes. Yeah, barn owls. I love barn owls. Man, I did this silly thing in this for this setup where I put the camera literally right in front of my face. So I have to like keep looking around it. So I'm going to kind of sit back a little bit. That way I can look right under it. Let's see. So I did three. Okay. Yeah. Elena, good question. Okay, so Elena asks in the chat, quick question, Louie. I'm opening an Etsy shop and I was thinking of selling burbs. I wanted your, I wanted to ask your permission because you're selling them on your Etsy shop and it's your pattern. So here is the dealio with basically every pattern on Club Crochet. I have, I have a deal. My deal is you are allowed to sell them anything that you make with a pattern from me, but you have to put in the description where you got the pattern from. So you gotta put a link to, to Club Crochet. So the so as long as you put a link there though, I'm okay with it. You know, I I just be I'm just realistic. I can't 
I can't crochet a bunch of things uh, and to sell on Etsy and make all these patterns and stuff. So I have to be realistic and, and just let it go, <laughs> basically. So you're allowed to sell it on your Etsy page if you'd like to. Just please put in the description, pattern by clubcrochet.com. I'm actually thinking that in someday in the future, I mean, I've got a million, you guys know me, I got a million ideas, but someday in the future, I think I want to add something to the website that, um, so that people can, uh, like to add a little section on the website of, of like community, uh, community shops where you can submit like your Etsy page or your, your Etsy listing of something that you made using a club crochet pattern and so that people could buy like a little, you know, a little marketplace that's just club crochet things that people made. I don't know how useful it'd be, but I thought it'd just be kind of fun to do. So I'm gonna think about doing that. Uh, I need to think about it a little bit more about how it looked like and, and there's obviously a lot of other things that I wanna add to the website prior to that. But that is something I'd like to add to the website eventually. Speaking of adding things to the website, um, me and my website designer, uh, whose name is Jimmy, he's an old friend of mine from college. He was my college roommate. Um, he helps me on the website and we are adding a, a new feature very soon that I'm super duper excited about. Um, we're adding favoriting patterns. So you're gonna be able to, uh, you're gonna be able to favorite your the patterns that you like, and then you'll have quick access to it on the home page, and you'll have like this personal little section in my profile that's that's just made for your favorite patterns. I don't know. We've been working on it for a little bit now. It had a, like a shocking amount of tricks that I that we had to figure out, but he's kicking butt, and so he is. He is uh, rocking and rolling. Yeah, he, he is, he's kicking butt on them. Okay, so we got the waddle. We got the tail. The <laughs> this, and there's the wings. Kim! Kim! We were just talking about you. Um, Kim, thank you so much for your support, as, like, always. Kim, let me put this out for you. And Kim said, this is for you, Kim. Oh, wait, wait, we want to do an owl. Oh no, the owl is so far. Hold on, hold on. Don't go nowhere, Kim. I know you're busy. This is for you, Kim. Thank you so much for your support. I just said earlier that the next support, I'll put an owl, out an owl. So this is gonna be the next live stream, by the way, is this little cute little owl. And this pattern is actually available on the website as well. But Kim, uh, as you said, uh, hope my idea isn't too straining on you, don't want you to lose sleep because of it. I appreciate that very much, but it is not too stressful. I'm really, really excited about it. And in the halftime show, I'll show you what kind of I've been working on, um, and I'll explain it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, no worries. I Are you kidding me? Like, you don't have to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I truly, truly appreciate your support so much, Kim. Thank you. Okay. Where was I? Where am I? We gotta go back, Kate. I dropped my red yarn. <laughs> Cynthia says I should make the website into an app. Amy! Oh my gosh, Amy, how are you? Thank you, Amy. Okay. Um, here's what we got. Here's what we got for Amy. Amy, I, f I feel like this is perfect for you. A little, a little hummingbird to add to the background. A little hummingbird. This is for you, Amy. Thank you so much for your support, Amy. Ooh. There we go. I had to fix his little heart tail. Okay, what was I saying? I don't remember. Nah, I don't know. 
I don't know. Hold on, I don't remember. Oh, that's right. Someone said that I should make an app for the Club Crochet site. Check this out. I don't know if you can see my phone here. <laughs> You're going to see I have a bunch of notifications. But check it out. See right there? That's a Club Crochet app. See, what you can do is if you go to the website on your mobile, on your phone, you can add it to your home screen. And when you add it to your home screen, <laughs> okay, hey, okay, wait, Bef before I finish doing what I'm doing here, I just realized there's like a double super chat thing on the screen right now. So I'm going to turn that one off. Um, uh, one second there. Kim just super chatted for $5 again <laughs> because she's awesome. Thank you so much, Kim. Uh, and she says you guys get to decide what goes on in the background. So what do you guys want? What do you guys want us to add? And let me know in the comments while I'm telling you about this. So if you add, you can add the Club Crochet website to your home screen and it actually makes it into like a little tiny app right there. And if you open it, You'll see, I mean, it's technically just the website, but it totally performs like an app. So it's, I mean, it's pretty cool. Like there's, I mean, there's everything here, you know, you, you can even, you can search, um, you can go to browse and technically it's the, just the website, like I was saying, but it performs a lot like an app. So this is kind of what I'm, I'm thinking about for, for an app. Um, and this is right now, this is just the easiest way for me to like, do an app uh, but yeah so if you like club crochet and you want to just add it to your home screen it's really really easy to do so and this my pro we're, so we're adding like a bunch of extra things so my profile here right now is a little little barren but that's where your favorite patterns and stuff are gonna go and then on the home page and I if I can figure out how to go back to the home page no that's the browse page well whatever on the home page we're gonna have the the, your favorite patterns and stuff there too. So, how do you do it? Cynthia asked how to do it. This is how you do it. I'll show you real quick. So, if you just go into So, if you just go onto Safari and you go to clubcrochet.com and then you, you need to log in first. So, log in to the website. Um, I'll log in with this one. I need my face needs my face once it logs in all you need to do is you just need to click this little button down here see that little arrow with a box in it you just need to click that and say um, add to home screen boom add to home screen and then I like to rename it instead of calling it home club crochet I like to just call it club crochet and then you just hit done and it'll add it to the home screen that's all you got to do and then it adds it to the home screen for you as if it were an app. And it's kind of cool because it works like you don't need to, um, you can't like leave the app and like visit other sites. So it, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. It's, it's a good, uh, it's a good fix for now. Okay. So what did people say? Goblin, another burb, a bon <laughs> the bonsai tree. That's a little big for this, I think. Yeti, I think Yeti's a ten. Yeti's a ten and up. Well, I guess you did support. Let's do. Someone said goblin, and I, you know me, I love goblins. I love me a goblin. Let's go grab the goblins. Here we are. Here we are. Hey, this is what I'm gonna sound like when I'm really old. This one, perfect. This is for you, Kim. A little, a little goblin. Look at it. He's got a little cigar in his mouth. What I did for a cigar is I just pulled stuffing at the very end of the cigar so it looked like it was smoking. Isn't that cute? And I made his, I tried to make his top hat look like kind of raggedy. I don't know. I don't have a name for this guy yet, actually. If you got any ideas for names, let me know. And see what I did with his mouth? I made it so it looks like his mouth is like, Ah, hey. I don't know. I love that guy. I need to figure out. How, I, I need to remember how I did it. So I can, like, teach how to do that cool mouth thing. 
I think what I did was color changes over the mouth, and then I sewed the mouth on. I don't know. I don't know. I need to look and do it again. I also need to sit back so I can actually see my screen. There you go. Chain three. One, two, three. Then half double crochet one. So we're making the comb now. We've got almost all the main parts of the body done. We got the um, the wings done, the waddle done. Two. And now we're gonna finish up the comb in just a second. This is what I really like about all the little sections of this pattern. Even though there are a few things that you need to sew together, and you guys know me, I don't love sewing things together if I don't if I can avoid it. But um, there we go. But I do like that all the things that you need to sew on to this guy are like super duper tiny little projects. You know, it's like. Look how quickly I made that comb. It was like less than a minute. And I like that. You know, I don't love sewing things together, but I do like the fact that everything that you need to sew together, it only takes a few seconds. I have a little clamp here that I need to move. So one second, I'm just gonna put it right over there. There we go, my arm was hurting there. Um, okay, what was the other thing I wanted to say? remember I always have so many things I want to say and then I forget about them maybe I need more coffee maybe that's the problem maybe I don't have enough coffee gotta have my coffee huh? oh I want to check something so I got this thing I'm working on I don't know if it's working though I'm just gonna pop, pass it over to this thing just to see if it's working. Does that say, does it say zero? I can't tell. Let me see, one second, I'm, I'm doing a home. I'm just, I'm doing a test here real quick. It does say zero. I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't know how to fix that. So the idea here with this little thing in the corner right there that isn't working because I don't know what I did wrong. Let's fix it. Um, um, the idea there is that uh, I am, I'm planning on doing a thing where, so, so Kim's support last week was so, awesome that I decided to do this game show which we'll talk about more in the halftime show but uh, that little donation goal thing is gonna be a new thing where if we hit a goal that I'll that I'll make uh, I'll do another one of these game shows and then we'll just do we'll just keep that going but apparently that, that thing isn't working so I'll have to I'll have to work on that over the week also don't know what's wrong with it. Do not know what is wrong with it. Um, Azriel said, uh, they have some amigurumis and be honored if you crochet one for a video. Why don't you email me? We can talk about it. Um, I usually don't like do that kind of thing, but I might be interested. Um, so email me, Azriel. My email is louis at clubcrochet.com. I'm I'm definitely interested. It's just a little different for the channel. Um ba -ba -ba -bum. Okay. So now we got a little foot thee. I like to pinch the little toes. Like that. See? And this is his little foot. There's our little chicken foot. You ever eat chicken foot? I've never had chicken foot. But I know people do. Sounds gross, though. Ooh, the Mythics asks if I can make other animals like pigs, cats, or dogs that are not what they look like. <laughs> like a burb version, I'm guessing. I think that's a great idea. We actually talked about that, I think, on the, the duck live stream. Um, I think it's a good idea 
I just would need to figure out how to do, hmm. It would, huh. I don't know. I need to think about it more. I do think that's a fun idea though. Especially like, I think it'd be fun to do a raccoon. But, I don't know. What I really like about the burbs is that you can make them as their actual character instead. So like, like this one, for example, is the chicken's head is actually attached. It's not, it's not a burb. So this one's actually a chicken, whereas this one is a burb. And I like that a lot because I, I know not everybody's going to want to make a burb version. So I like the fact that you can make one without it. Also, yes. We'll spit out the egg again just because it's fun. Look how far I can shoot this. Ready? Let's see if I can hit the hummingbird. Ready? Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't think it would shoot that hard. Okay. Hold on. One more shot. One more shot. I'm going to try to hit the goblin. Ready? I'm going to aim down a little bit more. I got him. <laughs> wow. That's like a bullet. That'd be a fun game. Oh, man. Maybe that'll be the game. So I've been thinking about doing in a game a game with the with the the uh, burbs because I if you um, have been following this channel for a while you know that I really really like making uh, tabletop games or just games in general using my Amigurumi. Um, my most notable example is Stitched, the game that we played last live stream. It's the tabletop game that you wait. What does what does Jack say? He goes. Um, it's the tabletop game that you make from scratch. It's war. That's your craft. It's stitched. <laughs> so that is my most notable tabletop game. Uh, and I really like it a lot. So I really like making little games for these. And I've been trying to think about one to make with the burbs. You know? And I think that might be a kind of a fun way to do it. Like a burb. Like where you have to like hit down something with a burb. With a with a, with an egg, like, like, let's see if I can get. Let's go with. Um, I'm gonna hit your. I'm gonna hit your orc, Courtney. I'm gonna aim for the orc. Ready? Oh, that was a bad shot. Pow. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Um. Oh, Cop Cooperlicious. Thank you so much for your support. I don't know what currency that is. C A five. I don't know what currency that is, but regardless, here is something for you. I need to add something to it, but check this guy out. So this is a slime. It's a it's a slime cube from D&D. Uh, &D. Here he's got a little bone sticking out of him. But he's missing his treasure. He's supposed to have treasure sticking out of his... Oh, but you know what? Let's see if we can fit this skull in there instead, because it might be kind of cuter. Will this fit? No. No. Let's grab. Let's grab a little. I have. Um. I have a little gold button that I can use. I just gotta be careful getting out, so I don't bump the camera. Golden button. All right. Whoa. Almost fell. Almost tripped. But I didn't. But I almost did. Let's add this golden button to it. So this is for you, Cooperlicious. Check out how cool this golden button is. So I have this little hole in the side here, and the whole point there is that you can put a gold button that's like sticking out of it. Like he's, like the slime has like engulfed a golden button. So this is for you, Cooperlicious. We're gonna put him right here. Your little slime mold will forever be here to say, Thank you so much for your support. <laughs> and they said, they've been having a hard time, but Club Crochet brightens your day. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm so sorry that you've been having a tough time. That that sucks. I, I feel that. Um, Jules is having a real tough time right now. She just got surgery the other day. So she is healing up on the couch right now. Yeah, but she's okay. It's Canadian dollars. Ka. I thought it was California dollars. <laughs> Not really. 
Hey, Fandom Random. No worries. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for joining. Hannah. All right. Well, I'll see you later, Hannah. And I love the cat in your background. Is that your actual cat? Well, you're leaving. But if you have enough time, let me know if that's your actual cat because it looks adorable and giant. Looks like a giant majestic kitty. Like Jimbo. Jimbo's a giant majestic kitty. Okay, so now I'm working on the head. I have all the parts of the body right here in this big pile of thread. And now we can finally work on the head. I know I rhyme all the time. I'm a poet, didn't know it. I did know it, actually. Oh, this camera. Okay, hmm. How can I fix this? Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna move the camera because I spent like 15 minutes last night trying to figure out the perfect camera angle. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. What state am I in? I am in California. Oh, Coffee Crochet, thank you. And I'm sure she would say thank you as well. Coffee and Crochet says, hope Jules has a speedy recovery. Me too. <laughs> she's doing she's doing a lot better. Um, and for you, Coffee and Crochet, we'll put out, how about, Hmm. Hmm. Do we put that up? Oh. Let's go classic. Oh, well, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do a classic. A classic. Well, do I want to grab... Yeah, let's do this. No, 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 no. No, that's a special one. Okay, we'll do this one. Classic. Just for you, coffee and crochet, a classic... Pigeon Boib. I think this is one we made for... Do we make this on the live stream? I think we might have made this one on the live stream. Because look how perfect those eyes are. And I remember the one we made on the live stream had like perfect eyes like this. Anyhow. This is for you, Coffee Crochet. This one's going... Oh man. We're starting to already get a little packed here. We're going to move Sven out back a little bit. Give us some room. This is a little slime friend. And then we'll do... Little pigeon in front of it. We gotta start getting some taller characters up in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's so weird. You can't super chat without a VPN. How, how weird. How weird. Divine Rose Knight, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Well, you've been here the whole time. But hello. Oh, you're going you're going for dinner. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Fandom Random, what have you been doing? Fandom Random hasn't even made a burb yet. <sighs> oh, Cynthia, thank you. Cynthia says, hasn't haven't done much crocheting lately because of work and school. Hold on, I wanna see, I wanna make sure that the super chat comes up here. There it is. Oh no! But the posts and videos always make me... Thank you so much, Cynthia. Cynthia, you've been here since like the get-go, man. You've been, you've been around for a while. Let's get, how about an old school one for you, Cynthia? So I don't know if you like Mega Man, but this is a super duper duper old pattern and you'll be, it'll be pretty obvious when you see it. So this is one that I made like seriously when I first started doing when I first started doing pod people. So this is an an OG pod person. You can tell because of the eyes. This is when I was still using um, I was using bullion knots for eyes instead of safety bead eyes. But you can tell I was I just started to get really into color changes here. You can see I I did some color changes in the face there. I really should have probably done color changes on those two also. I even did color changes in the legs, like such subtle ones. Anyhow, this is for you, Cynthia. Thank you so much for your support. An OG, an OG pod person for an OG Cynthia. We're gonna go, move that, that all back a little bit, right there. 
one of the things I want to do this year, and um, pardon me if I have said this like 15 times, because I know I have talked about it before, is that this year I'd like to come out with pod people. <laughs> yes, that's right, the stop motion for that one. That's right, I did make a stop motion using this guy back on my Louis Loops channel. Um, so one of the things I'd like to do this year is I'd like to come out with a comprehensive tutorial for how to crochet pod people in general so that you can make your own pod person based on anybody you know you can make your your girlfriend or your your mom or dad or whoever you want and then when I come out with that I'd like to come out with a bunch of tutorials for different kinds of pod people that you could make so you can make Mega Man or you can make I mean obviously we have the Mario pod person already and the Link pod person and a bunch of Avengers but I think it'd be kind of fun to do like just a bunch of different pod people and a comprehensive tutorial series with that. <laughs> Lydia. Well, if you ever fig if you ever want a super chat, it's pretty easy to do. There's a little dollar icon in the bottom next to the chat. And that's all you have to do for super chat. But if you can't, no worries. No worries at all. Okay, so we have got, you know what? We need a different, I think we have gone over on our, yeah, it started over again. So let's do, how about forest? Forest jungle music. How does that sound? This is great because it's Zelda themed. Here we go. Boom. That's so funny that it's not it's not supported in Jamaica. What a strange thing. But hi from Jamaica. That's crazy. Hello from Jamaica. <laughs> you're you're way out there. Welcome. Da -da -da. Wait, didn't we already listen to this? Man, I feel like we have listened to this song a million times. Do you know what this is from? Because I do. This is from Mario Odyssey. This is the forest level. You can't find the chicken beak in the pattern PDF. Oh, Miriam. Miriam says you can't find the chicken beak in the pattern PDF. Well, that's actually because the chicken beak isn't sewn on. The chicken beak is actually made with a spiked bobble. And I'm actually just about to do it right now, Miriam. So let me just show you how to do it, if you're following along. What you want to do is you want to get to round uh, five on the head, which is what I'm on right now. Now, the first thing we need is our white yarn, because we need to first add the eyes, but the eyes and beak are all added in the same round. And this round is a little bit tricky. So you got to go kind of slow with it. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a mini bobble stitch for our eyeball. So I'm going to crochet around some white yarn just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to do uh, a can I turn up the volume? Sure can. There you go. Of the music, I'm guessing you're saying, Leanne. Lean. Okay, there. Let me know if that's not loud enough. Here, I can do a little bit more, just in case. Um, okay, so first off, I'm gonna do a mini bubble. That's just for an eye. That's pretty easy. Okay. That feels weirdly scripted. What does? I don't know what you're talking about. I am not an actor. <laughs> it's true, I'm not. Jules is an actress, though. Okay, so I'm doing a mini bobble here. Boop. Boop. Um, and if you... Ugh, I should explain that better. Okay, let me let me undo that. Let me do it again. For mini bobble, it's basically um, like three double crochets put into one stitch. So what you want to do is uh, you do you want to start a double crochet, so we yarn over, and then we go into the next stitch right here and yarn over again and pull that through, and then yarn over again and pull through two. 
So that's like kind of like the start of a double crochet, right? So what we want to do now is we want to do that same thing three times total. So there's one. Let's do it again. Turn over into the same stitch. You want to go into the exact same stitch that you worked into before. Pull through, turn over, pull through two. So there's our second repeat. And then we're going to do that one more time for a for our third repeat for a mini bobble. And you need to know the mini bobble because you need to know that for the spiked bobble for the beak. So let's do our last part of the mini bobble again. We're gonna yarn over, go into the same exact stitch that we worked into, yarn over again and pull that through, and then yarn over again and pull through two. Like that. There you go. Now we have four stitches on the hook. Three of them are white and one of them are beige. And I'm going to switch over to beige, so I want to change back over. I like to place my index finger in between and then flip it under like that. Turn over with beige and then pull that through. And that's how you make a mini bobble stitch. Now again, you have to make a mini bobble to make a spiked bobble in the middle. And the spiked bobble is one stitch away from the mini bobble. So first we do a single crochet into the next stitch right here to lock in the white yarn for the mini bobble. And we also want to grab our yellow yarn for the beak. And I place that yellow yarn in between the two, and then I yarn over and I pull through with our beige yarn, which locks in the yellow yarn and the white yarn simultaneously. So as you can see, this can be a little bit tricky. Okay, so now with this white yarn, I'm just gonna pull the white yarn to the side like that, just so it's not in the way while I'm working with this yellow and our beige yarn here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now for the um, for the beak, um, you want to do the first two parts of this mini bobble. Okay, so we're gonna do like the first two repeats again, but in this yellow yarn. So I'm gonna change over to yellow. We're gonna yarn over with yellow. I'm gonna go into the next stitch. Now it feels a little loud, doesn't it? I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the next stitch, pull a loop through, then yarn over and pull through two. So basically we're doing the exact same thing as we did for the mini bubbles. There's one part, let's do a second one. Yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so now we have two of those mini bubble, like double crochet things into the same spot. Now is the super tricky part of the, um, the beak. Uh, what you wanna do, I feel like I just saw a super chat. Oh, it's telling me that people are subscribing. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know it told me that. That's kind of cool. Wow, it's giving me a lot of people subscribing here. Let's do, I'm gonna go ahead and move that over a little bit and maybe shrink it down a little bit. Wow, that's kind of cool. I didn't know. I didn't know I had that. That's a, that's new. Okay, so now we're making the, the, the mini peacock. So between these two double crochets, you wanna do a mini peacock stitch. So for a mini peacock, we're going to chain two. So we're gonna yarn over with your crochet hook still on these loops, so you don't wanna remove them. This is why it's kinda of tricky. You chain two only in this first loop. So pull these other loops over to the side. We're just gonna work into this first one. We're gonna do one chain, and yarn over, do a second chain. And that was the hardest part. In that first chain that you made, let me get a little closer here. In that first chain you made, into the back loop of that first chain. So we turn it, we turn it slightly. And you can see there's this little tiny loop right here in the back. We wanna do a slip stitch into that back loop. Now I have a video tutorial that helps out with this a lot better. It's at clubcrochet.com slash spiked bobble, I think, or spiked or SBO might be SBO. I don't know, but it's in our YouTube channel too. So you go to that stitch and we're just going to slip stitch into the to that back loop right here. Like that. So we go get our crochet into that back loop, then we yarn over, pull through that back loop, and then pull through the loop this loop, the first loop right here. Okay? And that makes a little point. See how it just made this little tiny point right there? That's it. And now what you want to do is you want to do one more, that last part of that mini bobble, you want to do one more time. 
So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go into the same stitch again, right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so you're basically doing that mini bobble with that mini peacock in between. And then once you finish all that, you switch out back over to beige yarn, pull through with beige. And again, there's a video tutorial for this that explains it a lot better and a lot more patiently than I just did. So that might help a little bit more. And that's how you make the, the beak. You can kind of see how it formed there. And what's really nice about that is you don't need to sew anything on for it. You just, you just need to make it like that and you're good. So in the next stitch, we want to add, we want to do a single crochet into the next one right here. And I, I'm going to work around these colors just to lock them into place. And then we're going to do one more mini bobble in white. Okay. Here we go. How do I turn? I, I don't know if we want to keep that subscribe thing going on because there, it's, it's very continuous, isn't it? I'm going to turn that subscribe thing off. Yeah, it does. And then transition. Okay. Okay. Let's pull this to the side. But that being said, please uh, still subscribe <laughs> if you haven't yet. And we're just going to do a mini bobble right here. Okay. And then Lydia... asked something i see a lot of people talking to lydia in the chat let me finish this mini bobble up and i'll go through it how do you go lydia asked how do you go to club crochet website clubcrochet.com that's it that's all you gotta do go to club crochet website and i would say create an account on the website it's totally free you can create a free account um you can create a a, a membership account as well and it's free but it's a trial so it's only free for like seven days but you could do a basic account that's completely free. Rebecca asked, can I explain the mini bobble again? I'll do you one better. Let me link to my video where I explain it a lot easier, a lot quicker. So, one second. This is the website. This is, that should take you directly. I just commented it. There it is. Let me make sure that works. Yeah. Okay, so that should take you directly to the tutorial for it. Let me see. Let me make sure it works on incognito mode. Yeah, it does. So that, that'll take you to a tutorial for the bobble stitch. Um, and I, I took a long time figuring out the tutorial. It teaches you like all the aspects to it, but yeah. Yeah, ask your parents just to be to be sure so that you don't like mess up while you're signing up. But um, if you do mess up, just email me, let me know, and I can help you out in any way. There's a little contact at the bottom of the page there that you can use um, on, on my website that you can use to contact me if you have any problems. Okay, so look at them, look at them eyes, look at them nose. What's nice is after you finish this part, it's like it's all downhill. Like that's the hardest part in this entire pattern, I think, is making the eyes and the nose. I've got a little hair. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. I got one single strand of hair. That always makes me think about, um, I don't know if you've ever watched it, but um, there is a, the show Avatar, The Last Airbender. There's a scene in Avatar where um, Azula, who is like the bad guy, uh, is like learning her electricity, and then one hair goes out of place, and then then her her mentors say like just a hair out of place, or something, and I always think about that when I have a hair. I know that was like completely random and weird. <laughs> Anyhow, I love Avatar. What can I say? Uh, Daniel Cook says, Lewis, please help. I'm making a cow amigurumi for next for New Year's next month, and I designed it based on your pig, but my mom said the bobble stitches are too short for legs. Is there another stitch? Um, you know what? That's actually super funny that you you say that. I'm doing the exact same thing. I, I'm making 
I was working on it this week, and I'll show you why in our halftime show. After I make this face, I'll, I'll do the halftime show. Um, but I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm making a cow that's based on the pig pattern. Uh, and, and I had the same problem. The feet were just a little too small. So here's what I did. I used a bulky bobble, which is a little bit bigger than just a regular bobble stitch. It's just, you basically do the bobble stitch, but you add an extra step to it. Um, and I found that that was, that worked for me. If you want to do something different, um, and you want your legs to be even taller, uh, I'd suggest making them separately and then sewing them on. You can only get so far with stitches, you, in, in all honesty. You can only get like so big of a, of a bobble of stitches. So I suggest using, um, if you go to the, to the brontosaurus pattern on my website, I have a pattern there for how to make long legs for a brontosaurus. Uh, that might help you out a lot. Um, but yeah, if you want to make your legs a little longer, either try the bulky bobble. I would suggest trying the bulky bobble first because it'll help out. It, it, you know, it'll be easier to make a bulky bobble than it will to to um, to sew something on. But uh, if that doesn't work out, you might want to try sewing sewing the parts on instead. And I I'm guessing that you are um, <laughs> sewing is the bane of my existence. I agree. Yeah, and what Jane said right there. So Jane said that she uses the um, the five stitch bobbles, which is uh, the same thing. That's a, that's what I call the bulky bobble. Um, for the pigs and the triceratops, they're just a little bit bumpier. Yeah. So give that a shot. Let me know how it works. Um, hopefully that works out for you. And like I said, I'm actually doing the exact same thing. I'm making a cow. I mean, after I made this chicken, I was like, man, I gotta make a cow. And then. Once I show you what I did in the halftime show, you'll see really why I made a cow. I think it's pretty cool. Okay. So, what do I gotta do now here? Look at this, look at this blind chicken. We need to go a little further so we can add its face. Let's do a finger crack, ready? Oh, that was so satisfying. Do you think I get my neck? Here we go, ready? Oh, only one. Ooh, but it was good. Felt great. Okay. Oh no, Bea just got her wisdom teeth taken out. I had that happen too. It sucks. It's like, it's just terrible. But you get to eat a lot of ice cream, which is nice. And Jello. Oh, love Jello. Lemon boy says no. I'm guessing to my neck cracking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my neck one of these days, on stream. You guys are gonna see me break my neck on stream. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I don't think I will. I'm pretty safe with it. I know. I know my limit. But we will see. Ooh. Okay. Helen asks, what is the smallest and biggest crochet hooks I've ever used? Um, I love very small crocheting. I'll show you what the smallest, biggest crochet hooks are. The smallest crochet hook I've ever used is... This one. Right here. It's a size 1.25 millimeters, and you can see it's like... I mean, I can't even get it. It's really tiny. It's like super tiny. And this is for like embroidery thread. Um, this actually might not even, this is just for like thread in general. So it's really, really tiny. Um, and then the biggest one I think I've used is probably this one. Probably this is the biggest one I've used because I don't, I like crocheting really big, but I, I don't often do it. Um, but yeah, I think this is probably the biggest one I've used. You can use like a more big one, like ones that are like this big for like rope basically. But I don't really have to do, I don't really have that much to do with that. Um, yeah. 
Oh yeah, Bea asked, uh, how do you tell if you have dry sockets? I, I'm not very sure, but you should definitely be ca very careful about that. Jules got dry sockets and it was like, she had to go back in and get a whole, it, it was dangerous. It's very scary when that happens. So you should be careful. Be careful. What was your first ever crochet hook? Oh man, I, my first ever crochet hook is broken. No question it's broken. Um, I, my first like five, I think my first five crochet hooks I broke. So uh, I kept buying plastic crochet hooks when I first started out. I kept, I lived right behind a Joann's, uh, a Joann Fabrics, which is like a, it's kind of like a Hobby Lobby store. And uh, I came back and I, and I learned to crochet and I was actually using the exact same kind of yarn that I'm using right now. So it's a, uh, I think it's Lily Sugar and Cream Yarn. Um, and I broke my crochet hook right away. And so I went back over, bought a new one, came back, I broke it again. It took me five crochet hooks before I decided, okay, I'm going to buy a metal one. So there's my answer to that. My first crochet hook is has been recycled. At least I recycled it. I don't think I've ever broken a metal crochet hook though. At least not yet. I have broken a wooden one. I don't really like crocheting with wooden crochet hooks very much because it sticks to my yarn just a little too much. I like I like it being a little slippery. Yes. Oh, listen to yarn yarn it out. Make sure to like this video down below if you haven't yet. Please give it a like down below. It helps this channel survive. I'm gonna start doing a thing where if a certain video gets so many likes, I'll I'll do a I'll do a new tutorial or something. Asriel said they want the Club Crochet membership free trial. All you gotta do for that is just sign up to the website. Um, if you sign up to the website, it'll like for an account in general. When you first sign in, it'll take you to a page that says like, what kind of account do you want? Do you want the absolutely free account? Do you want the membership account? Or do you want a pro membership account? Uh, and then you wanna choose the membership account which has the free trial. Tina, I was actually just saying that. I, I've been, I'm working on a cow pattern currently. I'm working on one and I'll show you why in just a sec. Once I finish this face, I just gotta sew on all the parts. But you'll see, um, one of the things I have to show you in the halftime show is something that I have, uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. You're gonna like it. Okay. Just stretch that out a little bit. We got a, we got a little chicken head. Cut this, go through. Let's cut this inside one too, because we don't need that. Throw that to the side. We don't need our beige yarn anymore, so we can throw that to the side. Let's hide this end and then add our face and then we'll move on to the halftime show. Which um, Jack Gurgle will... Oh, there he is. I see him. Jack Gurgle is going to introduce the halftime show and you'll see he's got a few special things about him. Which might explain, help explain the uh, game show thing that I'm thinking. Okay. Okay, so we got our face there. Now we just need to add some eyes. I have this huge, look how big this bag of eyes is. I can't find my, I, you know how I usually have that little container of eyes? I can't find it right now. I think it's in the other room. I'm gonna need more than that though. Okay. All right, so first off, first things first, I am the realist. Let's do cross-eyed. I haven't done a cross-eyed chicken yet. 
So what I like to do for these eyes is you can see I use my I use my needle here and I put it into the bobble stitch where I want the eye to go and it kind of makes a little tiny hole. See how you can see the little black spot right there? It's because there's a hole to the inside. And then I can take this eye here and just place it in the hole and then I can pop it in on the inside, see? Kind of barely see it there. And then the other one is right here. Pretty good. Go a little lower. That's pretty good. Looks like he's looking right into your soul, isn't he? I see you. He's bald. He's a bald chicken. That's Stranger Danger. That's funny. Stranger Danger asks, can I make a fried chicken next time? <laughs> Possibly. That'd be funny. That's a funny idea. Okay. So we got our eyes on. Next up, we want to add... Um, the comb on the top of the head here. Hashtag broke gang. What's a fried chicken? Rebecca doesn't know what fried chicken is. It's the most delicious food in uh, of all time. I had fried chicken last night. So we're going to go like, let's go up here. And it'll come out through the middle. How's that going to look? Actually, no. Yeah, we're just going to go in like that. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Lemon Boy. You dare me to crochet with thread. I have tried that before. It is a very, that's a very difficult dare. It hurts your brain. Cause you're like, honestly, you need like a magnifying glass, but you can make some really cool things with that. Here, check out, this one's not made with thread thread, but it's made with embroidery thread, which is about, it's just a little bit bigger. You can see how tiny, how tiny you can make a skull. This has the same amount of stitches in, in width as this does, so. You can see how much smaller it can get when you crochet with thread. Okay. Let's so or let's double knot this and then I'll add the let me add the waddle and then we'll do our halftime show. <laughs> Jane, thank you for the request too. Uh Jane requests another burb, please. Here you go, Jane. Just for Jane, the great and powerful eagle. <laughs> I still need to work on the tutorial for this one. But, uh, I mean, it's not that tough of a tutorial. It's just the beak is a little tricky. See, because you can actually, it's actually like a beak. You can open, open it up. Put this guy right here. That's for you, Jane. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the support. Okay. Where was I? Oh, that's right. We're making, we're sewing the waddle on. <laughs> Jane says when the eagle comes out, I'm going to make a big one to rule over all the little burbs. That's funny. 
What a, that's a fun idea. I like that a lot. I think I'm going to do um, Hummingbird next as the the next burb. And then I'll do um, maybe the Eagle. Maybe one of the new ones that, I'm, that I'll show you in a sec. Cool. Okay. We're going to go boop and then boop. I like that boop and then I do the boop. <laughs> Lemon Boy said he's going to make a whole city with burbs. Church of Perch. All right. Looks pretty good. And then I'll just double nut this. Coffee! Coffee and crochet supports for another $2 and says, you should see how much micro sells for. I'm guessing you're saying how much micro crochet sells for. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, like $100. I mean, that's totally reasonable, though, because those things take so much work. Thank you for your support, coffee and crochet. How about I add a micro crochet for you? This little fella right here. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Check this out. Look at this little tiny crochet hook that I have. Look at it, it's super tiny. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the middle of the our skull here, like this. Gonna come out somewhere. There we go. Like that. Now we have a we have a crocheted skull on a crocheted pike. And then we're just gonna put this in our We'll put it in the slime for you. <laughs> That's for you, coffee and crochet. A micro skull on a crochet hook. Metal. Metal AF. All right. So we got our chicken head done. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Jack, my friend. Oh, you need to fix that, buddy, before you fix your tie. Yeah, okay, there you go. There you go, buddy. All right, you ready? Okay. <clears throat> now it's time for the halftime show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the halftime show. I'm your host, Jack Gargle, the uh, goblin you all been waiting for. Hello, everybody. Hi, Rebecca. Let's see who we got here. We got Alex. Oh, Alex loves halftime show. It's all because of me. It is because of you. Yeah. You like my top hat? I got a little top hat and a bow tie now. And the reason I got a top hat and bow tie is because we were supposed to come out with my new uh, game show today. You see, thanks to Kim's support last week, we're going to start doing a game show. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And it's going to be a game show that uh, everybody can uh, can participate in. So everybody has the chance to win. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So basically, the idea is everybody uh, uh, will be able to uh, join in on a Google form and answer all the questions. And if everybody gets them right, if anybody gets them right, you win a free gift card to the Club Crochet store. Ah, uh, one second. Okay. Yeah, so if everybody, if anybody wins, you win a gift card to the Club Crochet store. So that's what we're going to be doing next live stream, thanks to uh, good old Kim. Yeah, so that's why I got a top hat and a bow tie on. If you'd like to support this channel, the best way to do so is to super chat, and I will eat your super. Oh, yes, yeah, Sasha. Mm, five euro? I love foreign food. Thank you so much, Sasha. Ah. Mm. Oh, that was delicious. That was just delicious. Uh oh, my hat's falling off. <laughs> yeah, I can fix that for you. Thank you. There you go. Hold on. You're getting too wiggly, bud. 
There you go. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Um, yeah, so that's that's uh, that's the idea there. Oh, goodbye, Azriel. Thank you so much for joining the live stream. Make sure to like and subscribe, whatever. <laughs> Check. Dude, uh, do you think we can get on to uh, the main part of the live stream where we like talk about the things that I've been making and stuff like that? Yeah, sure. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you're in control of me. That's true. I am in control of you. Okay, well, with that, Jack, say goodbye, and uh, we'll do um, we'll show people all the things that I've been making this week. Okay. Well, bye, everybody. Thanks for joining. Uh, I'll see you guys next week for my super special uh, game show. We're calling it Hooked. Ha. Oh, Amelia. Ah, Amelia, thank you so much for the extra dollar. Mm, just a little snack before I go. Oh, Cynthia. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. You love my style. Oh, thank you. I have been working very hard on my fancy style. So thank you very much, Cynthia. Ah. ah. Okay, guys. Bye. Okay. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Jack, we need to figure out a way that you don't hurt my hand so much when we talk. I'm going to put you right there, buddy. <laughs> Phantom Rant. <laughs> Luffy, careful, Jack loves chicken. Yes, he does. He does love chicken. Dude, you, I'm glad he didn't even notice. He didn't even know we were crocheting chickens. <laughs> Alex, thank you so much for the support. Okay, so we got, let's see, we got Alex supported, Cynthia, Amelia, and Sasha. So that's four things that we're adding to the background real quick before we get going. Before I show you all the things I'm making. Oh, you know what? Why don't I show you the things I've been making and we'll add them to the background for the people that supported. I have almost enough for everybody. So we'll add one more thing after this. So the first thing I want to show you is I have been working on some new burbs. Uh, just for fun, you know. Um, okay, so the first one I'm pretty proud of. I think this one's pretty much almost there. Uh, and it is a seagull. And what I really liked about this seagull is a couple things. First off, I did a different thing for the tail. So I did like kind of two points for the tail. I think I might want to try it again with a three pointed tail instead. So I did mini peacots on the end. Um, so I did the heart, the same heart tail that I do for the um, for the owl here, but I did points instead. So that's the seagull. Oh, and what's really cool is I'm actually using the spiked bobble for the nose right here. And then I sewed on an additional. Oh, Luz, thank you. Um, we'll get to that. Thank you so much, Luz. Um, I added an additional beak on top of that. So it looks like we have a bottom beak and a top beak. It's kind of a cute little idea. Of course, it's a burb. Obviously. Obviously. Mine? 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 So this, we're going to put them out one by one here. This one's for Sasha. Thank you so much, Sasha. We're going to put out... Your little, your little seagull right here who's going to be eagerly watching this chicken. The next one is for, um, for Amelia. Oh, Amelia. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Is that the same Amelia? It is. Okay. Amelia wants a dinosaur to match her tattoo. So we'll all add a dinosaur just for you in just a second. What kind, let me know what kind of dinosaur you have tattooed on. I might have one perfect for that. But bef while she's answering that, we'll do the one for um, Cynthia. Cynthia, thank you so much for your support. Here's another burb I've been working on. Now, Jules isn't a big fan of this burb. Uh, she thinks it looks kind of silly. It looks too much like Big Bird. So I think I need to rework it a little bit, whatever. But it's supposed to be a swan. <laughs> it's supposed to be a swan. I made this last night. Um, obviously, it needs a little bit of work. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about it? I think it looks kind of fun. I mean, it's supposed to look silly, and it's supposed to look like the head is supposed to be separated. So, like, obviously, it's a burb underneath. But, yeah, I think it needs a little bit of work still. But I still, I don't know. I really like it. She thinks it looks like Big Bird. And it does look like Big Bird. But it also kind of looks like a swan a little bit. I think I need to make the body a little bit bigger like that. So that its wings go up more. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's Big Bird. Yeah, yeah. 
So make it yellow and it'll be big bird. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Okay, so maybe I need to just use this same pattern to make big bird instead of a swan. <laughs> yeah, I like the long neck though, right? It's like an interesting idea for long neck. Maybe I could do a flamingo like it or something. I don't know. It has a big personality. <laughs> So this one's, I'm gonna put out, Mickey, hey Mickey. I'm gonna put him right here. That's for, that's for Cynthia. And then the next thing I wanna show you, I need to turn off the lights for. Well, first I need to show you it. So this is why I've been working on a cow, is because in, um, in March, in March we're gonna do space themed patterns. It's gonna be all space themed. Um, so we're going to be doing a bunch of different space themed patterns and one of them is going to be a little UFO and obviously it's relatively simple this is just the prototype but um, I'm gonna be working on a little bit more but what's really cool about this I mean it's cool it's just cool in general but what's really cool is that it's glow in the dark all these white parts are actually glow in the dark so one second I need to turn off the lights for this so give me a sec And I'll turn them back on after I show you this. So check this out. So first off, we gotta go dark. We gotta change the. We gotta change the lighting. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my webcam settings? <laughs> Everything's just dark. So right here. No. Wait. Wait. What? Where did it go? Oh no. Ah! Okay, let's see if this will work. So this is a, this is a, um, a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, 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 a UV light. So this is essentially working like the sun would work. So it absorbs the light. And then, let's see, I need to do this one. On the dark. Oh, okay, good. There we go. Okay, so it absorbs the light and then I'm gonna turn it off. Ba ba da ba. Isn't that cool? How freaking cool is that? Yeah, it's a black light. It's like a UV light. So I think what we're gonna do is this this month. Let me add a little bit more light on that. It you know it looks really glow in the dark in person. It's kind of hard to show you on screen but it is like crazy glow in the dark. Let me get the yarn actually too. So you can see what the yarn looks like. We'll find it later. So this is actually the yarn and you can kind of see how it, yeah. So if I were to leave this out in the sun or like there was a light on it all the time, you'd see, look at that. Look at how cool that is. Look, you can see the back where I didn't shine the UV light isn't, and then this side is. Look, you can even see where I left my thumb that didn't get covered up by the sunlight. And this one's still, it's still glowing. Pretty well, actually. Yeah. Okay, let me turn the lights back on. One second. One second, hands two, okay. I gotta turn this light on. And I need to turn this light on. So the idea is gonna be, wait, where'd I put it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's the idea for next, um, for March. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do for the kit for March is you're gonna make a UFO and, uh, and a spaceship or something like that. Um, I'm gonna try doing like a big kit with a bunch of different stuff. And then the yarn that we're gonna use is gonna be the glow in the dark yarn. So I think I'm gonna use glow in the dark yarn for the actual, um, for the actual kit. I gotta turn this down a little bit. Sorry, I just need to fix the lighting a little bit. I forgot that I had like special settings for my lighting. There we go. Um, yeah, so this I'm gonna put on screen for uh, for the super chat for, uh, this one's gonna be for Alex. Yeah, this one's for Alex. So we're gonna put this guy on screen for Alex. Now, let's see, do I have a, needle anywhere. Oh, here's one. Like this. 
we'll put a needle in the bottom of it and we'll put that needle in in the, the head of the that so it looks like he's here maybe I can there you go there you go so he's got a a hovering a hovering uh, UFO there for Alex thank you so much for your support Alex Amelia you did you ever tell me let's see Oh, you have a Diplodocus tattoo. I don't know what that is. But Amelia, <laughs> but Amelia, thank you so much for your support. Let's add you a dinosaur in general. Because I don't have a Diplodocus. Because I don't know what a Diplodocus is. Let's find you a dino, though. There you go. This little orange, this little orange finger puppet triceratops. How's that? That's pretty good, right? So this is for you. We're gonna put him right here. And then for, who's after that? Ah, oh, Luz, of course, Luz. Thank you for your support, Luz. You rock. And for your support, man, we're gonna go all kinds of top hats today. Look at this, we got that guy has got a top hat. Jack Gurgle's got a top hat. And for Luz, we got this octopus with a top hat. So we're gonna put this octopus with the top hat. So you can you still get the screen there? No. Let's go. We'll move this over like that. There we go. And that's for you, Luz. Thank you for your support. Okay. So what I was saying um, is that uh, that's why I was working on a cow. So what I want to make, additionally to this, is I want to make a. Um, a string that goes out with a little magnet on the end, a green string that you can like pull out with a little magnet. And then what we're gonna do is it's gonna be, um, uh, I'm gonna make a cow with a magnet in the top of it. So you can, you can attach it to a cow and you can actually like have it like with a cow attached to it. Isn't that a, isn't that a fun idea? I thought it was a fun idea. Let's put this back in. Yeah, and so the kit, the, the monthly kit is gonna have that glow in the dark uh, stuff included in it. Yeah. Hello, Sarah, welcome. Oh, the closest would have been a brontosaurus. Well, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't have a brontosaurus ready and rare and it's all, it's in the other room. A raven would be a great idea. I think I could use this this beak for the raven, since the raven's gonna have like a little bit more of a beak, you know. Make the angry bird burbs. Wow, we have a hundred viewers right now. Hello, everybody that's watching. Thank you so much for joining to live stream, and uh, make sure to um, like and subscribe, obviously. And thank you so much for joining. Amelia says. Please link the yarn. I'm guessing you're talking about the glow in the dark yarn. I can do you one better, or not better, but I can. Here it is. Let me show you the the label for this. This is the yarn that that is that glow in the dark yarn. It's called Di Glow, and it's and it's from Lion Brand. But I think I'm gonna try to get some for kits, just just uh, cause you just need a little bit. For the um, for the, uh, the 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 monthly kit in in March, that's the idea there. But I mean, think about all the uses we could use for that glow in the dark yarn. We could make eyes for um, for your bats, or let's see, what else? I mean, there's just the uh, possi possibilities are endless. I think it'd be really fun to use that glow in the dark yarn for the eyes for the relic and like the mouth for the relic. That could be pretty fun. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Ziva says I should make a toucan burb. Someone actually crocheted a toucan and sent me pictures of it. Let me see if I can find it. It was really, really cool. Let me see if I can just pull that up real quick. Yes, here they are. Look at that. That was easy. Okay, so this person emailed me a picture of this. Her name's Andrea. 
she's been she made a um a toucan one and i think it's so cool so i'm gonna try to with her help like recreate it um so i'll try to do that this week but check out this toucan that she made she emailed me this look at how cute it's like it's epic it's seriously epic yeah if you want to show off some of your specialty burbs, um, check out the Discord channel. We have a link in the description below, uh, and you can just join the Discord channel, and you can put pictures of what you make. In um, There's a section called Look What I Made, and I go in there every now and then, and I see like all the cool things that people make, and people are making some crazy cool things, including a cockatiel, actually. Someone made a cockatiel, and it's really cool. Yeah, there's so many burbs we want to make. A pterodactyl. I think it'd be really cool to do... Um, to do a Maltris, Zapdos, and um, and Articuno burb. That would be really cool, right? Yeah. There's so many options, it's crazy. Yeah. Okay, well let's keep rocking and rolling here. And again, everybody that has supported and that will support, I just want you to know, like seriously, thank you so much. You make these live streams I mean, they're worth it already just because it's fun to do them, but you make them like financially worth it as well. Um, so thank you. I mean, obviously I put a lot of time and effort into making stuff for these. So like just seeing that support to help out uh, additionally really means a lot. So thank you very much. Okay. Blue Jay. I was working on, I was thinking about working on a Blue Jay last night. But I decided um, to do to do a weird looking swan instead. But um, this week I'll make sure to make some extra burbs this week to show off in the next live stream also. Oh, Frankie wants to wants a little a little input on what kind of questions we will be asked uh, in the live stream next week in the in the crochet game show and the question is going to be based on i have like a spinning wheel that'll that'll uh um that will choose the game show but uh the game shows i think the name of the one that we're gonna probably do next week is um called to pay or not to pay so there's your hint on what the game show next week will be but if you want to know what it is you're gonna have to join the Join the halftime show next week. Okay, so now I'm back to working on our on our chicken burb. And the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make the finger puppet addition so that we don't have to work on it later. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, I don't need seven. That's good. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bye, Sasha. Thank you so much for all your support, Sasha. And pasta la pizza. I'll see you next week. Oh, that sucks, Jessica. That's such a bummer. People being rude for, like, no reason are is just the worst. I hope it doesn't bug you too much. Lydia, it's okay. You know, if you can't super chat, it's completely okay. I totally understand. No worries. I understand the, the situations. If you can, thank you so much. If you can't, no worries. Please still like and subscribe if you if you uh, do like these videos. That's, that's the freest, cheapest way to help support. Fandom Random asks, asks, how can they crochet their own Jack Gurgle? And that is a great question uh, and something that I will definitely work on this year. I'll come out with a tutorial for how to crochet your own puppet, um, specifically your own goblin puppet. Oh, oh, I forgot to show one more thing in the halftime show. Um, so I'm working on another puppet. Uh, uh, I'm not exactly sure what its name will be because you know it's not finished yet all i have done is an arm but the arm is really cool so we're going to do a troll this time so we got we got jack gurgle the goblin 
And next we're gonna do a troll. And so the trolls are obviously a little bit bigger, so I made this hand for it. And look at how, like, isn't that a legit hand? It's like super good, right? So this is the hand, it's just gonna be attached to the body. And I did, um, it should be like relatively simple to just like move it around. Obviously, I don't know if he'll, I'll be able to like do much of a, I don't know, maybe I'll put like a, a wire in it just so I can like turn the hand a little bit. So he's got a little bit more of an elbow. I'm not sure yet. But what's nice is that all the fingers have wire in them. So you can actually like, right? So you can actually like bend it in. So like you can do like the okay sign. Okie dokie. Or you can do a fist. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, it was pretty easy to make too, the hand. So I need to work on uh, obviously another hand uh, and the face and the ears and like uh, everything. So I probably won't even have this ready by next live stream. It'll probably take a while, but just so you know, I am working on something. Oh, and, and oh, that's so nice. Lydia supported for, oh no, no. Amelia supported for Lydia. That's so nice of you. Thank you so much, Amelia, and thank you, Lydia. And for Lydia, we're gonna add, let's see, what what would Lydia like? How about, that? How about a squid? What do you think about a squid, Lydia? This is for Lydia, a pink squid. Another pattern that I still need to work on. The, the squid is really cool. What I really like about this pattern that is not out yet, but is I'm working on it, is that it's all one piece. You don't have to sew anything on. Nothing. I know it looks like all this is sewn on, like the like things are sewn together. Nope, none of it. Not one bit. The only thing you need to sew on is to sew it closed. Other than that, it's all made like in a round. Isn't that amazing? I'm so proud of this one. Okay, so this is out there for you, Lydia. Thank you for, uh, thank you, Amelia, for Lydia's support. <laughs> We're gonna put it, can we still get the seagull in here? Like that, maybe? The seagull's gonna be hungry, being right behind that squid. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good, okay. I know, right? No sew. Zero sewing. Yeah, like the fungaloid, yeah. A de divine, uh, divine Rose said, uh, kind of reminds her of the Super Mario Squids. That definitely is uh, intentional. <laughs> definitely inspiration. Yeah, sewing things together is the worst part because it's like, it's hard to tell exactly where to sew things on, you know? Whereas crocheting thing, yeah, I don't know. I'll try to get the squid to the rough draft uh, this week, Sunshine. I just, I just keep, you know, there's just like a million things that I need to remember to do in the week. And then I also have a day job. <laughs> I have a job that I have to work. So it's hard for me to do. It's hard for me to keep track of everything. I need to just like have a to-do list, sit down every day for a couple hours, and just at the end of the day work on club crochet work. And that's what I already do, but it's like, you know, I got patterns to write, all that other, all, there's just a million things to do. A million. But hopefully sooner or later, I'll be able to quit my job. I think I'm close. I'm getting closer. I think the neighbors are smoking cigarettes outside. I can smell them. It's, it's not good. I don't like it. Don't smoke. If you can avoid it. <laughs> it's stinky. It's 
it's kind of crazy. I can smell it in here, though. What do I do for work? I'm a motion graphics animator, a video producer, and a social media manager for a company. I know it's a lot of a lot of roles, and I, in all in all honesty, I don't get paid enough for it. <laughs> That's what I do for my day job, for a company. Jasmine! Bye! Thank you so much for watching. Yes, I do have quite a lot of jobs. And then I also do freelance video editing on the side as well. To, uh cover the extra bills i mean here's the problem well i live in san francisco which um is the is the most expensive place to live in the entire world everywhere san francisco is the highest and i am very fortunate that i have a very very reasonable rent for san francisco but that being said it is still very expensive um so I need, you know, it just costs a lot. So. I mean, compared, I, sh I, I try not to complain too much about it because compared to to my friends and, and na neighbors, you know, it's not that bad. But it's still San Francisco rent. <laughs> Amy, again, thank you so much, Amy. Double support, Amy. Keep doing what you're doing. You're absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Amy. Let's see. For Amy, let's do... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got a good one. I got a really good one. Well, I don't know if you're into Marvel stuff, Amy. Um, uh, hopefully you are. But uh, I'm going to show you a, an old school one, another old school one, kind of like, um, like uh, Mega Man there. So I don't know if you've been watching it. But uh, the new show on Disney Plus called WandaVision, uh, it's about um, uh, um, Wanda, who is the Scarlet Witch in Marvel, um, and uh, and the Vision, who is, uh, he's like a robot, kind of, but he's like a cyborg, kind of, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Synth Synthobot? I don't know. Anyhow, uh, here is an old school one that I made like a long time back for... Uh, for Wanda's brother, whose name is Pietro, and Pietro is Quicksilver in the comics, and this is his comic book version. Uh, so here's another pod person that I made for um, Pietro. In the comic books, Wanda and and Pietro are uh, the um, uh, the the, uh, the 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 the. the children of um of magneto so that's what in the comics they're they're the children of magneto who if you don't know who magneto is he is like the um the x-men big villain x-men so anyhow long story short um i think uh i really like marvel <laughs> long story short i like i really like marvel so i think i'm going to uh more Marvel characters will be more pod people when I do that that full pod people tutorial. That's what I'm thinking. Elena, bye. Thanks for joining. Three, here we go. Can I make an easy monkey? That's a great idea. Yeah, I can. I can probably do an easy monkey. Um, monkeys are my favorite. I love primates. I think, well, I mean, actually, that's not true. I, I do love primates, but my favorite um, primate is not is not a monkey. It is a, um, it's a lemur. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Stranger Danger. You got to check out the Marvel movies. I mean, they are like, you know, they're, they're a little saturated in our culture, the Marvel movies, but... For good reason. They're really, really good movies. I really like them a lot. I am a I am a Marvel nerd. I'm also a Nintendo nerd. And just a nerd nerd. 
You know, I. You know how I know that I'm a that I'm a nerd. Is that um? Oh, hey, it's the Kirby song. That I mean. That wasn't on purpose, but honestly, like, the fact that I could recognize that that was the Kirby song. <laughs> Just. When I was saying I'm a nerd. Um, no, the way that I'm sure that I'm a nerd is that the other day, yesterday, I spent like three hours working. Uh, and while I was working that entire time, I was watching uh, videos about Lord of the Rings and um, uh, like the travels of Gandalf outside of the Lord of the Rings books. And it's called, it's actually a channel called Nerd of the Rings. Um, N O uh, T G. I think that's the YouTube channel's name. It's really cool though. You should check it out. Yeah, I mean, if you like Lord of the Rings, uh, it's super nerdy, but it's a really cool channel, in my opinion. And it was a. Uh, I watched a video about how, like, what if Gandalf took the One Ring? What would he have done? Um, and stuff like that. I watch those kind of videos pretty often, though, to be honest. Bye, Ziva. Thanks for joining. Is there anything easy like Ghost to do? Not had time to crochet in ages and need a quick project for tonight. Have you made the Triceratops, Amelia? This Triceratops, the one that I put out for you, is um, crazy easy. It's a free tutorial. You can find it just by going to clubcrochet.com slash Triceratops. And it should only take you like an hour or so to do. It's, pretty, it's a pretty dang easy pattern. Um, obviously, there's a video tutorial for it as well, and uh, and since you love dinos, it might be a perfect project for you. So there's there's a pretty good one. I've got to work on more like super beginner tutorials though. Maybe a monkey would be a good one. Hello from Oregon. Hey Sherry, welcome. We've listened to this song seriously like 15 times. I'm going to fast forward it. There we go. <laughs> hey, Dad. My dad is in the chat. He goes by Bobby4M Metalworks. Have you made the T-Rex yet, Amelia? The T-Rex is another one. It's it's definitely more difficult than the than um, the the Triceratops, but it's a pretty good one. And then another easy one that's like the Triceratops is the Stegosaurus. Um, that one's pretty easy, but it isn't free. That's a that's a paid one, so you'll need a membership on the site or you need to buy it. It's like three dollars, I think. So great way to support the channel if you like to. All right, so now I'm going to add the burb face. Hi there, Louie's dad. That's what, that's what Alex says. Hey, dad. Hope you're having a good day. Helping Taylor with kits and stuff. <laughs> I think that's where I want the beak, yeah. Oh, a hippogriff. Actually, a hippogriff might be a fun, uh, a fun burb. Actually, that might be kind of tough though, because you'd have to do like a horse body or a lion body. I don't really know. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, a jellyfish. Yeah, jellyfish would be easy. That's a good idea for an easy pattern. I could try to working on that. The, the, the octopus is like crazy easy. That should be an easy pattern I should do. We'll have to do like water creatures in summer sometime. Like I'll do an, I'll do a, uh, a whale and an octopus and a squid and a, um, we got the seahorse already. But just like a bunch of, a bunch of sea animals. That could be pretty fun. Burb, Burb is back. Hello, Burb. Welcome back to the stream. Hey, Burb, uh, if you're still here, hopefully you didn't just pop in and pop out. Um, uh, I want to make you. I want to make you a Burb. 
I thought maybe it'd be fun to do like a giveaway thing. So I tried emailing you. I don't know if you got it though. Um, I'll try emailing you again. If if you don't get it, email me at louis at clubcrochet.com. I'd like to give you a, a little gift and, and then maybe maybe we could do like a, a giveaway collab. Or something. I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of fun. If you're not into it, I understand though. My poor Burb's hair is falling out. Our Lord and Savior Burb is here. <laughs> it's funny because Burb is like an official club, uh, an official YouTube channel too. Burb, Burb is Burb. Yeah, I want to do a cockatiel. I think I'll work on a cockatiel soon. I think I cut this yarn a little too short. Is it possible to put subtitles on these live streams? Ooh, I don't know. That might be kind of tough. I don't know. I'd have to think about that a little bit more. How long have I been streaming for? Just out of curiosity. Two hours. That's pretty good. A flamingo. Yeah, definitely. I should definitely do a flamingo. Is that... I love that burb just like popped in and just said burb. <laughs> it's funny. How about an ooh, burb? <laughs> Yes, Sam the Eagle from the Muppets. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. Guys, the Muppet Show is coming to Disney Plus. I am so freaking excited. If you have been a fan of this channel for a while, you probably knew already that I really like puppets. I mean, look at Jack Gurgle, for example. But um, yes, I am really excited about a about a uh about The Muppet Show. I love The Muppet Show. I think it's like one of my favorite shows of all time. And so all five seasons are coming to Disney Plus. I'm going to just put them on like repeat. Like I used to watch The Office like that, just like have them on in the background. I'm going to do the same thing with The Muppet Show. I'm so excited. I don't know why it took them so long to put it up there. There we go. So that's actually as far down as I need to decrease because now I can just, I'm gonna sew on the finger puppet. Oh, I forgot. We were making the finger puppet edition and then I switched. Oh yeah, voyo. Okay. So I'm actually, I could just cut the yarn now, pull it through because we're doing the finger puppet version. I probably should have slip stitched. Eh, whatever. It won't be a big deal. Okay, now let's add on the wings and tail and stuff. Let's start with the wings. Ooh, it's hot out in Australia today. It's cold out here in San Francisco. It's a nice cold day. I got my super, check out my slippers. These, are, these were a birthday gift from my, um, from my cousin and her boyfriend, Sarah and Travis. They're alligators, but they're so warm. Oh, I cannot stretch that far. <laughs> I 
Alex wants a taste of the Aussie accent. Okay, I can try. I'm better at a New Zealand accent. I'm better and better at a, at a New Zealand accent than I am at an Aussie accent. But uh, let's see, Australian. I'll, I'll do an I'll do Australian accent. Uh, Melbourne. Uh, Got to start saying uh, Brisbane. Oh, what else can I? Let's see. Uh, I I could do the classic. You know, that's not a knife. This is a knife. Things, <laughs> my dad said things are hopping in Australia. What a lame -o. Uh, <laughs> I can ta I can count to ten in, in a New Zealand accent pretty well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's my New Zealand accent. I uh, hope you like it. I think it's, uh, I want to know, how, how am I doing with it? I got a good New Zealand accent. It could probably be better, but uh, you know, I don't think it's that bad. What do you think, Alex? <laughs> I'm gonna add. Absolutely, thank you. You just gotta talk with the front of your mouth. I can do an Irish accent, but I can only do an Irish accent sounding like an old man. Like, like, or I'm an Irish. Oh yes, of course. I'm. I'm a great. I. I've got a great Irish accent, but only when I'm talking like this. I can't do it any other way. <laughs> Coffee and crochet loves my surfer one. I do, dude, dude. I totally have a really good surfer accent, dude. That's my like local accent, though. To be honest, like to be fair, though. You know, I got a lot of friends that are surfers. You know, my neighbors across the hall surf all the time. So it's like I get a lot of uh, access to like the surfer, surfer culture. You know, man. And uh, yeah, I can. I think I could do a pretty, a pretty gnarly surfer accent, dude. Crikey! <laughs> Yeah, try to think of an Aussie phrase that doesn't have the C word in it. <laughs> I got, I have this one friend, his name is Choppa, um, and he is an Aussie, and man, he tosses, he tosses around some words <laughs> pretty, pretty fluidly whenever I'm hanging out with him. He's dope. He, he's a, he's a really cool dude. He's got a channel here on YouTube, uh, about cakes it's called cakes with choppa he's a cool dude though that's a no oh sure whatever dad my dad said that that's the northern uh california or northern surfer accent you gotta do a malibu accent i would argue that's closer to a malibu accent Let's see, what's a more Malibu accent? I don't know. I could do like a like a Valley Girl accent. That's pretty uh, Southern California. But I do that one all the time to you guys. <gasps> Dude, Coffee and Crochet, that's crazy, okay. Coffee and Crochet just said, my first Halloween in San Francisco, I saw one of the house's surfer skeleton Halloween decorations. You know what might be crazy? That might be straight up my neighbor because I have a neighbor that's got a, a skeleton, a surfing skeleton right out there all the time. He's all, it's always up. But seriously, that might've been my neighbor. <laughs> that's kind of cool, right? I don't know, maybe it's not, but I think it's kind of cool.
Have I tried a talking toy before with a radio in it to make it like a... Ooh, that's a cool idea. No, I haven't tried that. That's a good idea, though. I like that idea, Lydia. I will I will think that through a little bit more. Because I think that is a good, a good idea. I think... I think that is a good idea. Yep, that's my neighborhood. That is 100% my neighborhood, Coffee and Crochet. Wow, small world. All the way in Korea, and you've been still in my neighborhood before. How cool. That's my neighbor, though. He lives literally, like, I point that way. It's like four or five houses down that way. Yeah. Wait, you have pictures of the beach, too. Yes, please send them. How long ago was that? How many Halloweens ago was that? I've been living here for, like, eight years. So it might have. you might have, like been right near me at one time <laughs> divine rose says she's already ready to quit this card again i have never crocheted a card again so i can only imagine that it is not very fun. <laughs> it seems like a lot of work. Jules crochets sweaters all the time. She just finished a sweater. Uh, Rebecca asks, is Discord free? Yes, it's completely free. No, no cost at all. Um, you can find it real easy. Just go to clubcrochet.com slash Discord. There should be a link in the description of this video. But if not, um, here is a link just in case you need that. Discord, and that should take you straight over to it. Yes, as Amy says, it is completely free to join the Discord if you'd like to. Okay, so now we're just adding our little fleets here. Got some little fleets. We're just going to add a little bit of fleets here. Just going to do ahead, go ahead, land some fleet. Carol asks, does my crochet ever curl up? It is frustrating for you. Yes. Um, crocheting and knitting, both, especially if you're working in the flat, will tend to curl up or curl in general, just like curl. Um, there are a few ways to combat this. The first way is uh, to shape it with increases or decreases, but that might be a little bit trickier. The easiest way to deal with it is to block. Um, blocking your pieces once you're finished with them is a way that you can like flatten them out and, and put them in the right shape. Basically what you do is you take hot uh, you, you soak them in hot water in like the sink or something and then you put them on this like flat big piece of flat cardboard or, or um, you can use just like um like a couple towels and then you pin it down. You pin it onto the towels in the shape that you want it to be in. And then when it when it dries out, um, that hot water helped it stay in that shape. So it should keep its shape. So that that's the that's the best way to like combat curling after the fact. But it's kinda hard to deal with it mid curl to be fair. My dad asked how Jules is doing. Jules is doing okay. She, she had a rough night last night. Um, she's still in a pretty good amount of pain, but can only take so much pain meds. So she's kind of just vegging out on the couch for a while, just healing up. Um, I don't know if you heard earlier, Jules got Jules had surgery this week, so she needs some. She just she just needs to recover. She is okay. It was mouth surgery. She had dental work. She's kind of just vegging. It sucks because she can't eat solid foods right now, so. 
we are we are trying to figure out things that she needs to eat. <laughs> Tina, thank you. I will check it out after this live stream. All right, so now we got our little feet. Actually, we got all the parts of our of our chicken sewn together. Now what we want to do is uh, we need some stuffing. Where's the stuffing? Oh yes, our giant stuffing bag. Here we go. Mm -mm. Boop ba da boo. Look at my giant stuffing bag. I'm rich, baby. I'm rich. This is where all your support goes into. Right there. Every time you super chat, just goes straight into the bell bag to use as stuffing. Oof, Meat Beep is working on a pigeon bird with a really long neck. Oh my god, you're using it. I mean, dude, how are you going to keep that standing up? Are you going to put like a metal bar in it? How? That's going to be like, dude, what? I can't wait. You need to show me a picture of that when you're done with it. I, that is, you're crazy, dude. You are crazy. Okay, we need our white yarn for our finger puppet edition. I can't reach it. There we go. <laughs> Six times as long as Longbird, the head always falls off. <laughs> yeah, see? I was, that's what I'm saying. Like, how long can you do it before it falls off? Oh my gosh, you're supposed to have six to ten inches of snow tomorrow, Melbell? Wow. Well, hi, Melbell. Welcome back. With really long legs. You guys are funny. Coffin Crochet is back. What'd you miss? Oh my gosh. You missed some crazy stuff going on here. Coffin Crochet. There was this, a giant stork, like seriously, like four times as big as I am, came into the room and attacked my head. It started just poking me in the back of the head a bunch. And the chat was like, Lou, there's a bird. There's a giant bird attacking you. And I was like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. And then I turned around and then it disappeared and turned into a bunch of butterflies. And, th and those butterflies just flew off into the distance. That's what you missed. It was crazy. I can't believe you missed it. Yeah, it was wild. Didn't that happen? That definitely happened, right? Avocados are very cute crocheted. Yeah, that that yeah, that's all true. Yep, see? It's all 100% true. Yes, someone started Jumanji and um, now we all have to face the consequences and deal with our Jumanji fates. Oh, bird missed it too. Man, you, you how did you miss that burb? It happened. It was right behind me. <laughs> oh well, maybe maybe it'll be back. <laughs> the chat goes crazy whenever you're in the chat, Burb. Can you guys hear Jimbo? Jimbo's meowing out there. Maybe I'll have to let him in to say hi. Once I finish the chicken, we'll have, we'll have uh, Jimbo come in and just say, just say hi bye. 
Yes, Batman rescued me. It was wild. He used his battering, scared off all the birds. Yeah, it was wild. It's a seriously magical experience, though. Ooh, I got the cracks. Here we go. Ready? Let's see if I can do it. Oh, there's no way I'm supposed to be able to do that. No, Spider-Man was in the bus. He he was out. He was out. That's what Batman told us, at least. Batman said that Spider-Man was chilling in the car. Um, they have this whole multiverse thing going on, so. Oh, yeah, no, no, it wasn't Batman. It was a giant bat man. Yeah, it was a giant bat man. Not like man bat, but a giant bat man. Not the broom. Stranger danger. I'm going to look like your, your thumbnail soon, stranger danger. some ASMR right there. <laughs> yeah, totally. Some ASMR of Louie breaking his neck. Hold on, Jimbo. He is, he is a chatterbox out there. That should be enough, I think, and then I'll just increase it up. Louis, I do have very curly hair. It's very curly. And it's getting so long. I need a haircut really bad, but all the haircut places are closed. Yeah. I have a friend that, that does home cut stuff, but I need to like be very careful about that, obviously. But my hair is getting very long. Hold on, buddy. It's being so... Why is my cat named Jimbo? My cat is named Jimbo. His name is actually Jiminy Cricket. That is my cat's name. And he's named Jiminy Cricket because he's my conscious. Conscience. And that's why I named him Jiminy Cricket. But we all call him Jimbo. Or Motorboat Jim. That's what we also call him because he, because he uh, purrs really loud. Like, oh, I do not trust Jules with my hair. There's no way I'm letting her cut my hair. The, the problem with curly hair is it's really hard to cut. Like, it is really hard to cut it really well because you don't know how long it is. But I don't trust her with it. I don't think he's hungry. I think uh, he's already eaten a bunch. He just wants to, He, whenever the door is closed, he just wants it open. He wants to just hang out. I mean, I want to see the chicken. Yep, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jiminy, I'm almost done. Hold on, bud. Okay, so we just need to Sew this on now. Um, okay. So now all I'm doing is I'm sewing on the finger puppet addition that I just made, and this will give us the ability to make our chicken spit out eggs. I think we have it stuffed enough. Yeah, we don't need too much stuffing in it because it's got the addition of the chicken or the finger puppet part. Pick up, 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 up. A 
Aquatic Luna! <laughs> Came in late but still wants to throw money at me. Dude, Aquatic Luna, thank you for joining. <laughs> if you are late. Thanks for joining, dude. Let's see, what do you want? What 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 can we add to the background for you? About, about, about. Um Let's see, what do we got here? What's this? Oh, here's Batman. Now, this isn't the guy that saved me, but here's Batman. We can add Batman to the background. This is for you, Aquatic Luna. Another oldie. See, I'm, I'm adding a bunch of old pod people now. Let's see, we'll put him right here. He will protect us. Thanks for joining, and thanks for the, the support. I appreciate it. I can't put, I you're so silly. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. So we've almost got this sewn on. And then we'll then then I'll snag Jimbo real quick. And we'll say bye-bye. I don't know where I put that egg. I made an egg specifically for this. And I I like I don't know where I put it. It's a green egg. Hmm. But I do not know where it is. Okay. I think this guy's stuffed just enough. We'll have to try out the other egg that I have to, uh, to test out this egg shooter. I'm just gonna go in, out somewhere in the back. And then same thing with this one. This is a Pikmin song. I think. And then I'll double knot these. How did I make the egg? I, well, okay, I didn't really make it. The, it. My mom gave it to me, like these eggs that have these strings attached to them. And so I just cut the strings off and I sanded it, the egg down so that it didn't have like this little point at the end. So I didn't really make it. But I don't think it'd be too tough to make an egg. All you need really is to like, make one out of clay that would probably work like perfectly fine okay there we go we'll go ahead and cut this one a little bit more of a tuft on this head all right so we got our chicken we got the head Boop. oh what why why is his head not attached oh i need to stretch the head out a little bit okay let's try this again There we go. All right, our chicken is sefini. Perfect. Now we can cook them up. Have some fried chicken. Let's get our egg. Let's try our egg out on the other one. Here we go. All right, moment of truth. Ready? Who should we hit with the egg? Let's see if we can hit the flying saucer. Ready? Pop. Oh, whoa! Whoa, that shot way too far. It went behind the light box. Oh my god. That was crazy. This guy's got this guy's got a like a like a rocket launcher. Here we go. Let's try it again. Let's aim a little lower. Pop. Dang, missed it. That's hard. That's hard to do. Get some KFC in here. Alright, let's try it again. Pop. Oh man, I missed it again. Try it backwards, because I've been doing so. I've been doing the egg like, like this way. So the small one is top, but let's try it this way. So it's more of like a bullet. And aim and, pow! oh, I hit the eagle. I was so close. 
<laughs> it is fun. It's a cool, that's a cool little thing. Yeah, I think so too, Aquatic Luna. I think we're going to turn that into a table, into another game. I think that is a great idea. What should we, what should we, what should we have them like knock down? Let's try, we'll try one more time. Ready? If I can find the egg. Where'd it go? Oh my god. Oh, there it is. Okay. Where did the other egg I made go? It's bugging me, guys. It's bugging me. Oh, there it is. I found it. Here we go. We can load up two of them now. So this is the other egg I, I have. So it's slightly... I think it's skinnier? Yeah, it's a little bit skinnier. So we'll try the skinny one. We'll load this one up with the skinny egg. We'll load this one up with the big egg. Here we go. Ready? We'll do both simultaneously. Okay, here we go. We're, go we're aiming for the we're aiming for the UFO. Ready? Bah! Whoa! <laughs> Dude, this guy, the new one we just made, can seriously launch it really, really far. I'm gonna see. Okay. Oh man, can I get it so that you can see? I want to launch it like super far. Let's see how high up it'll go. I wonder if I can hit this, the roof. Ready? Here we go. It didn't hit the roof. It did not hit the roof. Oh, yeah, it's like a moldy egg. The other one. Yeah, it is kind of like a moldy egg. Here it is. Anyhow, we'll have to figure out how to make those eggs soon. I thought the egg was a Skittle. Okay. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for joining this live stream. Uh, this was a pretty fun one, I think. The, the chicken was a good addition here. Let's see if we can hit that UFO one more time. Ready? Ah, oh, the squid. It's a hard, it's hard to aim it. It's really hard to aim it. Game of fouls. Oh, I get it. Like you'd shoot the ch like like um, yeah. I get what you're saying. Okay, yeah. And if you'd like to continue this outside of this live stream, join the Discord channel by just going to clubcrochet.com/discord. There should be a link in the description of this video. And again, if you haven't yet, please like this video down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. <laughs> Lemon Boy, no, I don't want to go. Well, I'll be back next weekend for another live stream. We're going to be making an owl next live stream. And I think we're going to try making our owl, I don't know, some kind of different colors. I don't know. Check, make sure to, if you're not, if you're subscribed, make sure to hit the little bell icon um, because I'm going to do a little questionnaire this week um, to ask maybe what colors we should do for the owl. Yeah. Okay. Well, bye, everybody. Pasta la pizza. No, you hang out. <laughs> I don't want to go. Oh, oh, oh. Linda's saying, please, please. I don't know why. Oh, no, a quail egg. <laughs> oh, oh, quail. I should do a quail. That would be cute. A quail would be really cute. I went quail hunting one time, and I couldn't do it. I was like, no, I don't want to. These quails are too cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. 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 Wait. Okay. Okay. Amelia. Psh. Unsubscribe. All right. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. You know how I am. I hate saying goodbye, but I got to go. Go bye. Okay. Which one do I do? I do this one. I know I do. It's so silly. I don't know why I do this one, but here we go. I always put, I switch it to the one that says, we'll be right back. But it's like, I just need to make one that says, bye. I'll see you next week. So anyhow, see you next week. See you next Sunday. Bye. <laughs> no, you hang up. No, you stop. No, you hang up. Oh my gosh. Stop, I'm blushing. Oh my gosh.
Bye, guys.